everyone. I thought I'll take the time today to show you my latest bag design because I've just published it and it's now available on Ravelry and soon will be on Etsy as well. Um, in the photography, um, this bag shows up very tiny, so I thought I'll make a video just to explain to you that this is not a tiny bag. <laughs> I mean, it can it can be tiny. I mean, if you're putting um, little things, I don't know, like for a wedding, because the way I, I took the picture with it was with me holding the bottom and um, the strap around my hand. So you see, so that's how it shows up in the pictures. But um, it's quite a big bag. <laughs> um, so the way I did that was um, make three folds. It's, it's also mentioned in a pattern. So you will know how to achieve the same results as me. Um, three folds on this side as well. And the um, handle is uh, pretty much attached seamlessly. The flowers are also joined seamlessly. So that's in the pattern as well. And... Um, there on the middle fold and these folds were made before putting this uh, tie in which is also made by me so that's in the pattern as well so you'll learn everything you need to know to make this bag and um, what else this is the bottom I actually started filming this bag and I thought it would be a, a free freebie on my YouTube channel but um, the first video which was the biggest actually did not record anything so I give up <laughs> um, I'll try and make a bag uh, inspired by this one but slightly smaller so there you can put I don't know phone a little book in it and you can I don't know have it as a cross bag um, cross body bag and um, just use it as a daily bag really tiny daily bag so there will be a pattern, but not exactly this one. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, so I was going to demonstrate how much this bag opens. Um, and what you can fit in it. Because you can use it as a project bag as well. So I'm going to put a giant bowl of a bamboo cotton in here with the starter project. What I do sometimes is if I if I start um, a new sweater design for women, um, I keep these from the previous sweater. So I have like two, three of these in my drawers, um, just waiting for the next sweater design. And I literally just um, unravel it all the way back to just um, the ribbing. And then I start something new, which is interesting. Because the ribbon takes forever. It takes probably, I don't even know, half an hour, an hour just for this piece. And I can't really start designing because I get so excited about sweaters in particular. So um, I can't start designing until I've got ribbing sitting there waiting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm being a bit lazy with the ribbings. I keep them. Uh, not all of them, just sometimes I keep them. <laughs> because I know it's a pain to keep making them um, but yeah so here's a started project <laughs> so they'll fit in there um, just fine the shape of the bag is um, quite funny it's kind of like a boat um, and yes it's quite big it's very very roomy and I brought some more stuff <laughs> we're just gonna fit all of these this is a uh, 50 grams <laughs> ball just to give you like an idea of um, size so yeah so <laughs> it's still plenty of room um yeah yeah you can fit you can fit your little notebook <laughs> and a book and your i don't know many many hooks on top <laughs> oh yeah and it will just, obviously you have to close it before you go anywhere. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. I thought I'll demonstrate because um, it really does look tiny in the, in the photography. All right, so what else can I tell you about the bag? 
Uh, it's a bottom up, so it starts with this ribbing, which is very stretchy, but it will stay in place. I mean, it, it won't go anywhere, really. It just bounces back. Um, and then shell. It's not complicated. This is a very easy pattern. All my patterns are easy. Um, I also have photography and stitch video tutorials, so you'll know what you're doing, how you're doing, and when you're doing. <laughs> Um, the string, instructions for the string, and instructions for flowers, with lots of photography for that, because um, the joining, if you've never seamlessly joined anything, that would be something new for you to learn. Um, but it's literally making, um, I don't know, one of the petals, then starting a second one, and if you're joining this petal with that petal, you literally have to make a little piece of the petal, um, get the hook out, grab the yarn through this petal here, and then make the next stitch and so on. So it's kind of like start, stop, start, stop to kind of join them. But it's worth it, I think. I mean, I would not sew. I don't like sewing, so everything is seamless. All my designs are seamless. You'll never need to sew anything. Yeah, the lazy way. <laughs> That's that's seamless as well. <laughs> There's nothing sewed on this. So yeah, I think it's fun. It gives you some thinking to do, or at least me. It gives me um, thinking to do and coming up with crazy ways to not end up sewing. <laughs> yes, I don't like sewing. All right, so this is it for the little bag. That is actually a big bag. Um, I have to put the string back in. And watch out for the freebie. Oh, looks like a satchel like this, doesn't it? That's cute as well. You could put a felt insert in here and it will be more boxy. And then, I don't know. Also, this strap you can make it as big as you want. Definitely. Um, I have a strap here that I plan to decorate with roses so it's just a typical Amazon buy you know you can have you can buy these for any any bag you have and instead of using this or making this the back and then here you can put roses hmm that's nice isn't it I want the red one so hopefully by the time this is out um, I'll have mine made. But yes, roses can have lots of different uses. I mean, you can you can get creative and add them to anything you want. Or as a brooch. That's simple. So, this is the rose. Very cute and simple. This one's a bit different because I worked it on the back. But anyway... This is 4-ply, this is DK, so you see the difference in size. And obviously this is bamboo cotton, this is wool. So it will have different textures, but it's all the same, same flower. And this is the basic layer, the first layer of the flower. Um, I have this available for free on YouTube. And this is the next level up. <laughs> I'm making a sweater with this one. I can't wait. Sweaters take time. So I'm like trying to make little things first and get warmed up and then jump straight in. <laughs> um, I also played with this last night. Um, I don't think hexagons are um, people's favorite hexagons. Yeah. Um, when they make blankets, but uh, so I'm gonna try and make a square one, or maybe have different versions. I don't know, and offer it all in a package or something. I don't know. Quite cute. I don't know what else I've done. Not much else. I've cleaned my house. <laughs> That's an achievement. Um, yes, I know. We don't like to do that. Um, yes, I would rather grab a hook and yarn and do something else. <laughs> make something. 
Oh yes, and my yarn is in bowls now. Oh, that's fantastic. It took me a while. Yeah, isn't it? I've got two, three boxes. Look at that. Woohoo! Three boxes full of yarn ready to use. And this is like all projects that I still haven't sorted out. This is a cardigan I started. Oops. Months ago. It's very beautiful. It's a match to a sweater I made. The sweater is very cute. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get back to that in September maybe. Because nobody needs it now. It's Spring is coming, so... Anyway, I guess that will do. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to make um, a smaller version of this. So probably I'm going to start with the same base, make it smaller here. Um, for this one, I made it quite a big increase, which is why it's such a big bag. So probably no increase and just keep it little for a little book. Book size. Yeah. That'll do. Yeah. Excited! I might use green. I keep thinking green, 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 green. <laughs> and it'll go with that. Cute. Cute little flower. Okay. Bye-bye!